How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 called Castile and Leon New Horizon. And we're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, Hello farmer and welcome to Castile and Leon. In this map you will find many immersive features and details. You can get lost wandering the streets of the Castilian town and contemplate its houses, squares, shops, bars, restaurants, pedestrians, traffic, etc. and industrial estate. It will snow differently. It will rain differently. In winter, you will be able to observe smoke in the chimneys of the houses and in their factories. Languages. Castile and Leon. New Horizon is fully translated into English, Spanish, German, French, and Italian. If you like Castile and Leon, New Horizon, and its characteristics, and you want me to translate it into your language, comment on the official Farming Simulator forum. Agriculture. A total of 62 fields slash plots, some of them square and many irregular. For these fields, you will have a total of 28 crops at your disposal. In addition you, to the originals, you will be able to grow rye alfa and alfalfa. As a novelty, you can grow and work these fruit trees. Apple tree, orange tree, cherry, plum, lemon tree, pomegranate, quince, holm oak, chestnut, almond walnut you'll be able to produce juices and other products working the fruits work in the fruit tree in the store you will find machinery for them you will also work the re resin with resin pines uh, oh i can't pronounce that and pine nuts with stone pines the note the sugarcane and oil radish crops have been removed from the map animals as for livestock, you will have new breeds with new feeds and productions and modified stables. You'll also be, you'll also make your own feed with crops you work and buy them at the store. Note: Stalls have integrated manure bunker. Productions. On the other side of town across the river is the industrial estate. There are factories to produce all the products and others scattered around the map. Other productions such as a bakery, cheese shop, tailor shop, pastry shop, and sh many shops marked as many shops marked as points of sale are located in town. Greenhouses. Regarding greenhouse crops, I have added cauliflower, garlic, carrots, peppers, cucumbers, spring onion, and zucchini. You will have at your disposal two different types of greenhouses. These greenhouses work only with compost that you can buy in the store or produce yourself in the composting plant or BGA. Machinery. I have added modified machinery with color options and other characteristics. Others. You will find new modifications such as silos, stables, storage tanks, walls, doors, etc. You will be able to paint 15 different textures place new trees, paint foliage such as grass, bushes, and flowers to decorate your farm. Greetings to the entire farming community. Enjoy SDO Alberto. This map was created by Alberto as 650.15 megabytes to download. And if we take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. And you start up here in the northwest, I'm sorry, northeast portion of the map. And the parts that you own is, uh, well, right over here. Own farmlands number one and 26. One being your starting farm and 26 is a field with no product in it. And as you can see, there's actually a lot of fields around with no numbers associated to them. I don't know if this was done on purpose or if this is kind of an oversight. I'm not certain, but I, they are purchasable. They are fields that you can purchase. They just don't have a field number associated to them, which means that they're not able to produce a contract. There are contracts available for this map. They're just all these ones here are just basically waiting for you to buy them. And they're without a product currently. So it's something i have yet to see to this scale there's been other maps where there have been fields where they're just there but there's going to be no contracts there's going to be no like turnover on them you're not going to see growth only fields with numbers i'm aware of 
are ones where you're actually going to see them be used throughout the year kind of thing and have things planted in them and taken out and see them kind of shift over the year. So you are not able to buy the entirety of the map. As you can see here in the town and all around these kind of peripheral areas, you're not able to purchase. Uh, let's see. Field prices do vary, and starting with, uh, well, areas like this, 106,000. You've got this little itty-bitty area here. That's a placeable area for 29,000. You've got a little grass area up here for 129,000, but it does get really expensive. 579,000, 1 million. Uh, this one here, 51, that's free. So that's something you can purchase right away. And there are some oddities, I'll say, about this map in regards to pricing. Again, I'm not sure if there's going to be updates that are needed or if it was done on purpose. I. I have a hard time believing that these were done on purpose, but it's possible. So anyways, 690,000, 143,000. So you got some pretty expensive areas and you got some cheaper areas, one point, uh, almost 1 1.2 million. And then you've got some forestry areas here, 1.2 million, 1 1.9 million, 830,000. Like it's, yeah, you're going to have uh, some work to do to be able to, uh, build up to some purchases but uh, no animals to start out with contracts are available on this map you do start with a production chain the feed mixer crusher this is a custom uh, production point and I will show this off later uh, there are no collectibles available on this map and if we take a look at mods specific to this map first under the buy menu you scroll down to the mods and DLCs and you will see Castile and Leon New Horizon and look at this, you got a ton of stuff in here, starting with a feed mixer right there and takes all these products here. You've got several of these, uh, well, they're essentially modified grape harvesters, but they're modified to do apples, oranges, cherries, prunes, uh, lemons, pomegranates, and so on and so forth. Like there's just so much stuff going on here. Uh, then you go on to the trailers that have been adapted to be able to take all the new products. You've got a manure spreader here. Um, I, I'm not quite sure. I think this is specifically built uh, narrow for the fruit trees. And, and let me say this. The fruit trees in this are just modified vineyards, like uh, uh, grape vines. So they will be built just like them. So you can see how this is kind of narrow to be able to work for with those. you got a modified... Uh, sprayer here a modified animal uh, trailer which you will need these because you do have modified animals and again we'll cover those modified animals a little bit later another animals modified a horse trailer uh, a couple of modified bales for alfalfa you've got tree saplings here you have compound feed this is going to be important because this is going to be used for animals you have crushed cereal again that's something that we'll discuss later in the uh, uh, productions you got protein cereal soybean flour mineral feed chopped potatoes sugar beet cut uh, chopped carrots total mix ration composting again this one will become important later when we see the greenhouses You've got uh, round bale straw, so this is just straw. You've got silage. You've got rye grass. You've got hay for alfalfa, all baled. So, yeah, you've got quite a bit going on here. Make sure that you take note of and pay attention to what's going on in this regard because this is what you're going to need in order to uh, make a lot of progress in a lot of things. And I believe what is going on here is that these have been modified specifically for the fill types, but also for the size in which the feed mixer here will accept. So I think this is what, 24,000 liters, and these bale sizes here are all 4,000 liters each. So this kind of gives you a good uh, increment for inputting into the feed mixer, hence the reason why there's the picture of the feed mixer in the back. Uh, let's see, under the buy, or I'm sorry, that was a buy menu, under the build mode though, under mod specific to this map, under buildings and sheds, we do have uh, building here under silos, 
We do have a couple here as well. Under silo extensions, there is nothing. Under containers, we have quite a few here. Under tools, nothing here. And under farmhouses, we do have one there. Under productions, factories, scroll to the right, you can see we do have the feed mixer crusher. Cell points, we do have, or we do not have anything here. Greenhouses, we do have several here. And these are going to be important once we see these. Uh, we haven't seen this one. Uh, I don't recall seeing this one on the map, actually. The stone pines, this will produce uh, a product here, as well as your resin pines here. So we're going to have to look at those a little later, because that just dawned on me. I don't recall seeing those actually placed on the map right now. Orchards, on the other hand, these also not placed on the map, but these are how you're going to get certain products like apples, oranges, cherries, plums, lemons, pomegranates, uh, I think that's pronounced quince, uh, acorns, chestnuts, almonds, walnuts, etc. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on here. And then nothing under generators. I do have the government subsidy sign uh, put in here, and I'm going to have to put in some money. So we will get to that here in a little bit. Under animals, you do have uh, cows, horses, pigs, sheep, and chickens, but nothing under bees or others. And if we take a look just really quick under, let's say, cows, and we go to the modified versions, you will see all the new inputs that are available right there. And you got to make sure that you're paying attention. That's something else, too, is if you're placing an animal pen, you have to read the description down at the bottom right there. It says under the uh, cow barn here, a place to keep your cows barn for feeding cows. These are basically your beef cattle. These are the ones that will not produce any milk. They're just intended to be fattened up and shipped out. But these ones here, a place to keep your cows, barn for breeding dairy cows. This is one where it will actually produce milk. So again, you've got to make sure you're paying attention that you're reading these because it's going to be important as to what you're going to be doing with each one of the pens and pastures. Again, you've got a stable for breeding your horses. Again, reading the description. Pigs, you've got two barns here. Both of them are just for fattening up and shipping out. Sheep again is another one you have to pay attention to. Place to keep your uh, keep, place to keep your sheep stable for breeding sheep. These sheep are just meant to be raised up, fattened up, shipped out. But these ones stable for raising dairy sheep. You have sheep that will produce sheep's milk, and you've got to make sure you're reading these. Uh, again, I've said this several times, but it's important because you might throw yourself off if you're just kind of running through this really fast. And then chickens again are just normal chickens but they will take different speed types as well so something to pay attention to later uh let's see did we go over decorations i don't think we did uh going through fences you will see over here at the end a bunch of new fencing nothing under lights or others and then under landscaping if we take a look under painting we have a ton of different swatches here that we can choose from under trees we have several uh trees that we can use and under plants we do have several here as well Whew, lots to go over in this one lots and lots to go over but we got a truck right here to start out with so let's go ahead and move forward so if we come up here onto the right is our first point of interest The road network on this map is very difficult, very difficult to read on a map and very weird. Being an American, I've never seen a road network quite like this. It's incredibly complicated. Make sure you're paying attention to the road signs because there's a lot of stuff going on. So this is the sawmill. Now this is the part of the tour where I think there's going to be some kind of update needed because the sawmill you can buy for one dollar it's not just the sawmill it is every single production point can be purchased for one dollar and because of that i'm going to go ahead and just buy everything going forward and show each of the production points and what they can and cannot produce because some of them produce something different than others even though they may be branded as something we're all familiar with for those of us who played this for a long time the sawmill for instance you purchase this 
We can produce planks, but we can also produce tree bark. So that's a product that we're not used to seeing. And we have your output along the ridge right here, or this kind of elevated portion. And then your inputs are doo -doo 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 -doo, tucked away in the back right here with your wood cell trigger right here. So heading back to the truck, we also have our output for our wood chips and possibly also the uh, wood bark as well. So let's see. Oops, fire this back up. Now I'm going to be skipping around through like different parts of the road that wouldn't normally allow, like they have road signs that say, hey, don't go this way. I'm going to go through them because this is a very complicated road network. Uh, incredibly, incredibly complicated. So I'm just gonna go wherever I can to be able to get to the points of interest. We're gonna go around, whoa. Yeah, and some of the roads are going to need to be smoothed out just a little bit because there are some harsh transitions and bumps and stuff. Let's see. So, this is kind of the industrial portion of the map. So, starting up here in the kind of northwest or north, I guess did it again, northeast portion of the industrial area, we have the various Zamora and again, $1 and I'm just I can just go forward, I'm going to purchase these tell you what they are and then go into them show what they are so this is essentially your modified raisin and grape production plant so you can make raisins here you can do plums into prunes you can also do nuts and make like a mixed nuts recipe so you have your various uh, acorns chestnuts almonds nuts and pinions and you make a mixed nut kind of thing so that's kind of cool, having that kind of option right there. But you have your output here and your input right there. Now coming down here. This is the Agricultural Supplies Castile and Leon cell point right here. And then over here, we have the Agricultural Supplies Sales Castile and Leon Buy Point right here. So you can buy various things right there. Hop back in the truck and head over here. Oops, right here you have your shop trigger. And then over here, around the back, you have your repair trigger right here and the repair box right here now I will say small 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 equipment there are some incredibly tight yards and some incredibly probably one of the tightest selling points I've ever seen on a map and we will get to that here in a little bit uh, let's see let's go around this side all right this is the confection Sorora and this is where you can just make your uh, fabric. So you bring your wool and cotton here. You got your input here and your output, I believe is tucked in the back here. Yep. And I'm gonna be blocking traffic a lot on this map because there's not a lot of places to go. Over here, around this side, is the Leones Carpentry. And you bring your planks here, and you make furniture. So we're used to this one. This this is not uh, anything new. Inputs here, output right there. Right here, we have the Dairy Segova. And we can make butter, used to that. Make chocolate, also used to that. Soy milk, this one's new. Take your soybeans and you make soy milk. You also have your yogurt. So you take your milk and you make yogurt. 
You also have yogurt from sheep's milk. And yes, if you see, it is a whole different type of milk. So you have a whole different fill type right there. You also have soy milk from uh, yogurt from soy milk. So once you make your soy milk here, you then can process it into yogurt. Let's see, we've got over in this area here, around the back maybe. Aha, inputs right here, outputs right there. And you have your input as well right here. All right, I'm sorry, not an input, but you have an output right there. Yes, output right here. And then over here, Yeah, the Solomanka oils. Oops. And this is just, we're used to seeing this sunflower canola olive oil. That's it. Inputs here, outputs, I believe. Yep, right back here. Pass by this and go right here. Outputs are right here for this next one. Inputs are right here and the trigger right here. The prosecuted Valadilid. Anyways, that. Cereal factory. But flour, honey, and raisins make your cereal. You also have cere uh, flour, honey, and prunes. That'll make cereal. But then you have cookies, flour, sunflower oil, sugar, the mixed nuts that we saw earlier, and milk will make cookies. So that's something new. That's pretty cool. Heading down just a little bit further. Let's see. No, over here. No, that's what's... Uh, yeah, back here. I'm sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, we got an input right here. And then around the back, you have your output and Burgos Sugar Mill. And you can only make sugar from sugar beets. That's it. Uh, sugar cane is not a thing on this map. As well as the, uh, Oil sea radish as the cover crop. And actually, while we're talking about that, let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, was it this? No. Here we go. So we have all of our normal crop types that we're used to, but we go over one. Now you see we got alfalfa, rye, alp apples, oranges, cherries, plums, lemons, pomegranate, quince, uh, acorns, chestnuts, almonds, nuts. Got tons of different fill types here tons but again we're missing sugar cane and we're missing the oilseed radish so those the ones are taken out and replaced with others and what i'll do here is just turn around and come over here to the animal dealer now you can come to this location either uh clicking on this icon when you have a pen and pasture pen or pasture put into place you can come to this location click on this icon and you can buy your animals directly from here or from the pen and pasture directly using the same icon now the problem is that if you use this icon directly you will be assessed a additional fee to the cost of the animals now that fee is associated to a delivery fee it's essentially the animal dealer shipping the animal from this location to the location for your pen and pasture. Now, you can avoid paying this by bringing an animal trailer to this location, loading the animals directly into the trailer, and then delivering the animals to the pen and pasture yourself. Now, for something like cows, typically it's $100 per adult cow. And yeah, it gets pretty expensive very, very quickly. Now, it might be modified on this map, and we'll check that out later uh, for the prices and stuff. So. We will go around and purchase all the various pens and pastures that are built onto this map and we can kind of gauge on what is going to cost. But again, you see just how small the turning area is here. It is going to be near impossible to get large, quick.
equipment into here and then up to this ramp to where you can then purchase your animals it's yeah this map is going to be small equipment small tractors is going to take a lot of maneuvering and figuring things out oops this is a dead end and then lastly in the industrial area is this the package palencia and you can see here we have our grape juice apple juice orange juice cherry juice well technically it's all just making juice but you can make it using these various different uh items here plums and lemons you also have pomegranates so yeah it's uh yeah we can make some juice got your input right here and your output right back here now let's back up here now like i said this whoa didn't turn quick enough so this next area is the area i was talking about where it gets intense the road nap network is just ludicrously insane so like i said i'm going to drive wherever i can get to the places as quickly and easily as possible so over here we have the tailoring and it's just a tailor shop we're used to seeing this fabrics to close inputs here outputs here but look at the loading areas look at everything you have to deal with around here so if small cramped places are not your style then you're gonna have to to figure things out and oof just like this i block traffic and now i have to figure out how to squeeze through and get up this hill no no let me through let me through there we go and actually i think i missed uh i missed something yes i did so right back here this is the supermarket sell point yes supermarket sell point right there and again look how small that is this i mean this is going to be difficult getting around here i think i just smacked the mic okay now i'm gonna park the truck right here and kind of go on foot for the rest of this up upper portion here now this is the green grocer sell point this is the ice cream shop sell point you then have let's see uh do, 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 do. is it over yes tucked around here here we go here we have the tavern sell point pizzeria sell point and we have the burger sell point now behind me over here we have the coffee shop sell point and then lastly the restaurant sell point right there now let's see from here is it nope oh here it is here is your sleep trigger this is your house right here and like i said it's so hard like my notes are laid out in a specific way but getting around this town is so difficult because it's so small and the roads go every which way here we have the cheese and we can make cow's milk cheese sheep's milk cheese and tofu right here inputs and outputs right there and then i think yes right here this is the clothing store sell point and then down here there we go that is the nut shop <laughs> sell point now let's go let's see if i can find that truck again Oh, I am blocking. Oh, I am blocking traffic big time. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. 
Oh man, I have, I have really made a. Here we go. Okay, now, like I said, I'm just, I'm going for it. I'm going wherever I can go to be able to. Oh, now the cops are after me. I'm just trying to do a map tour here. There we go. I made it. Okay, made it to the main road. Let's leave that there. Whew, man. Like I said, this this uh, this gets a little difficult. So here is the hardware store cell point. Let me make sure. Just uh, was that the hardware store cell point? Yes, I think that's the hardware store cell point. Then we've got over here the bakery. You can see you can make your bread and cupcakes. That's kind of cool. It's not cake cakes. It's cupcakes. Uh, output here, input there. And over here we have the furniture store cell point. And then lastly, just down here, uh, tucked away back here, I think. No. Here it is. Here we have the pastry. And we have quince jelly. We have cakes from strawberries, from prunes, lemons. So all sorts of different... Well, they make cake, just normal cake, but you can make it with different recipes. Inputs here and outputs... Ooh, where are the outputs? Right here. There's the outputs. All right. Now, let's go ahead and figure out how to get out of the town here. Actually, before we do that, there's a couple of areas I need to purchase really quick. And they're all around the perimeter of the town. So, if you take a look where we started out at. We started all the way up here in the northeast here. We then came out to here, saw the sawmill. Then came over this northern road here, and we took in various points like the various Zamora, the vehicle shop, which also had the vehicle uh, repair trigger in it. We saw the confection Sophia, the uh, carpentry, the dairy, the uh, oils. We got the sell points and the buy points here. We had the animal dealer. We had the uh, package Palencia. We had the Burgo sugar mill. The yes, this thing there too. We then came down here and we swept through uh, all this stuff. We saw the tailoring, the supermarket, ice cream shop, green grocer. Came all the way through here, came all the way down to here, and now we are up here. Now, if we click on the uh, kind of farmland's view, you can see here, farmland number three, that is a buildable area, just a placeable area. We can purchase that for $29,056, but these are the areas we want to take a look at right now. Farmland number 36 for $68,672. 54 for 70 or 67,000 uh 67,776. 55 for 106,176. 33 for 88,704 and 32 for 215,104. Now, the reason we wanted to purchase all those is now we can see all these pop up. Now let's go ahead and run over to those real quick. They're not too far, and you can start to see them popping up here. They're all greenhouses. Every single one we just bought were greenhouses. Now the greenhouses are actually rather unique. So normally with a greenhouse, what you need to do is you put in water or some other components, but typically it's just water, and then you make a product well here you don't put in water you put in compost and that's it you can make all these various recipes from that compost you can see all these are now here they're available for us to use and we have other things too we have carrots garlic pepper cucumber spring onion zucchini just all sorts of stuff that we can purchase and buy so every single one of those ones that we bought and they popped up here so all these here, these here, these here, these down here, and then these down here, 
all of them are greenhouses and all of them produce the same stuff from compost. Now, you can purchase compost over at the buy menu, again, under this section here, like I was discussing earlier, all the way down here, you have your do, 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 chopped, where is it? Composting, right there. So you can purchase it right there and you can just fill up using the uh, the purchase product or you can buy it and I'll show you where you can buy, or uh, you can actually make it and I'll show you where you can make it later. Now let's get back to the truck. Now we're heading out of town now. Now this is where it gets a little difficult for me to do the tour and uh, to make sure that I show kind of everything. Now over here, that's the greenhouse area that I was just showing off. The kind of furthest out of town there. But you can see this is the road network and it is almost impossible to see it on the map so i'm going to follow this for the most part until it comes time to show the last three points of interest and those last three points of interest are all predefined pre-installed animal pens and i'll show you why in a little later so we are here at the starting farm and what do we do at the starting farm we take a look at our starting equipment so under the build sorry buy menu and under owned items under small tractors we have a fent barrio 311 medium tractors a massey ferguson 6713s cars a lizard pickup 1986 trailers the branther ta 230652 power tube plus subsoilers the agriseam combi plow gold four meter the Cedars, we have the Lemkin Solitaire 12. Sprayers, we have the Hardy Mega 1200L and the Mega 1200L Tank. Under Fertilizer Spreaders, the Braydell K105. And Weights, we have a 10 Winkle Pack 1500 and 1000. Whew. So, just my notes. Here we have a water tank. So this is a, a water output in buy point, I think. Here we have the feed mixer crusher. This is the first thing we had under the production chains list. And you can see you can make a bunch of different stuff here. You can make crushed cereals, shredded proteins. You can make sugar beet cut, potatoes chopped. Um, uh, you've got chopped carrots, compound feed, and pig food. So let's take a look. You've got uh, crushed cereal from wheat, barley, and oats, as well as sorghum and corn. You have shredded proteins from soybeans, sunflowers, and canola. You have your cut sugar beets, chopped potatoes, chopped carrots, compound feed, which is a mix of your crushed cereals, your uh, shredded proteins, your, what is that, mineral feed? Yes, mineral feed, and your soybean flour. Let's see, soybean flour, do we make that here? We do not make that here. Um, so that's, again, something that we have to purchase uh, later on. And then pig feed is a combination of these. So very, very intense recipe right here. So you've got your chopped potatoes, chopped sugar beets, uh, chopped carrots, your crushed uh, cereals, your proteins, your mineral feed, and soybean flour. So... Whew, that's a very intense recipe right there. And then over here, we have a digestate storage tank right over here, input and output. So it's just a silo. Right here, we have a repair trigger. Over here, we have uh, herbicide storage. So a silo for herbicide. Here, we have a fuel tank that you can fill up right there. Oh, open, there we go. Right here, we have a liquid fertilizer storage tank. Over here, we have a compound feed tank. So this is a compound silo. And the compound is a uh, part of the productions that you saw back there, as well as, you know, use on various other things. We have a seed storage tank here. Our main silo right there. Over here, we have solid fertilizer tank and lime tank. 
So all the various components as well as our main silo right there. And that's pretty much the starting farm. I mean, it's not a big farm, as you can see. Now, again, the road networks on the back roads are so difficult to follow. So I'm just going to do my best to get back to the main road. And we'll continue to show the remainder of the map. Okay, we'll cut through here. Now as we continue along. Okay. I'll stop right here. Now coming over to this area. This is the compound feed factory. So you, this is where you can make the compound. And you can see you have your compound feed, which is just a mixture of your uh, crushed cereals, shredded proteins, mineral feed, and soybean flour. That will make your compound. But you can also make total mix ration. And this is just a traditional recipe. We're kind of used to seeing at least some variation of this. we got the hay, the straw. And you see, hay on this map has a different icon than normal, uh, silage and mineral feed. But then you can also make alfalfa TMR. And you got your alfalfa, straw, silage, uh, mineral feed, and your soybean flour. And then you can also make pig food in kind of a more traditional way than what we're uh, used to. It's still got a few components we're not used to, but this is not as uh, out there as the normal mixer or i shouldn't say normal but the mixer over at the farm was now over here you have your inputs right here and i believe this is your output for the uh for the factory now you also have the compound feed factory for sale and that's i believe here so this is a buy point and here a couple of different buy points for various stuff that you have. Now we'll continue to head down the road. On our right, we have a gas station right there. And then we'll stop right here. Come through. Now this is the lumber plant. You have your inputs here. Let's see. Output here and your trigger is right here. And this is where you bring your wood chips and your tree bark, which you made up at the sawmill, and you can make pellets. So that's kind of cool. And now across the street, this is the first map that I can think of where it has two dedicated BGAs right on the same plot. Like there's other maps that have BGAs, but this is the first one I can think of where it's actually two separate BGAs and they produce two different things. So check this out. Again, $1. We're used to seeing that. And this is your composting BGA. So this is where you can make compost. And you can make it from straw, grass, forage. Uh, yeah, that's actual forage. So that's the not made properly TMR. You've got uh, sugar beets cut, chopped potatoes, chopped carrots, and alfalfa all can make compost. But then, actually here, let's do this first. You've got your output right here and your inputs right here and then over here is your second bga and this is the one we're used to seeing to make digestate and this is just normal kind of stuff you got silage slurry and manure only thing we're kind of missing here is the chopped sugar beets and you know that's because it's up in the composting 
uh, BGA. And then here, inputs here, outputs there. All right. So that is all the kind of points of interest I'm going to drive, you know, relatively normal to. The rest of the points of interest, I'm just going to jump to because they're kind of really dotted around the map really far. And I don't want to have to try and navigate the roads because you can see just how badly the roads blend into the map. So first one is down here. This is the sheep pasture. Now we go here. Let's see. And what you have to do is you have to actually purchase the land in order for all the triggers to come up. And you can see $900,000 for the sheep pasture. It's expensive. But once you do that, then you have the triggers pop up. And now you can see all the different types of sheep that we have here. We have lambs. They're not babies as far as I'm aware. Kind of like the, uh, what is it? Uh, Sandy Springs or mm, there's another map where it actually had babies on it. I can't remember what it was called, but I'm going to go ahead and at least purchase a couple of these and then we'll purchase some other ones to really kind of give us contrast that are adults. And you know, there's something else I meant to check too. So the delivery fees are much higher too, because check this out, $105 for an adult, 90 for a lamb. So that's quite a big difference. Now you can see here, it doesn't look like there's actually like lambs as in babies. Yeah, they're just, yeah, they're just age different. You got your feed and your water. Now, one thing that you have to pay attention to with these pre-installed stalls it says here base food 100 percent and it says the cattle in this pasture are des destined uh destined they're wow i can english talk words things out of my mouth the cattle in this pasture are destined for their reproduction and later sale in the dealer of the agriculture or industrial estate its diet is pasture grass but you will have to supplement it with straw the number in brackets refers to the effectiveness of their respective food so what this is saying is these sheep will take grass and straw as well i think so you can put your feed in there and their water in there but they don't produce anything these are sheep that you meant to fatten up and sell off for product like they, they are the product. They're not producing wool or anything like that. Now, the next area that we need to purchase is right here. Number 52. And that we purchase this. I think the they put us on the opposite side. Where is it? Um, all right now. Oh, there it is. There's the trigger I'm looking for. Now you can see you only have these. You only have these guys. Yeah, see, look at the fee here. Uh, $1,500 for the adult pigs and $900 for the babies. So this is going to get expensive very, very quickly. Now let's buy a few of these. So we can come into this menu here and check out what we got. Now, check this out. Iberian Domination Pigs. Breeding this animal will be expensive, but the selling price raised a five-year-old is very lucrative. Iberian 80% grain crushed cereals. So their grain is the crushed cereals. That's part of the productions that we saw earlier. Proteins is shredded protein cereal. Again, one of the productions. We can also buy both of those things. Land crops. Acorns, chestnuts, almonds, walnuts, any form of them. And then compound feed will satisfy the grain and protein. So if you have compound, it'll satisfy the grain and protein, the 20% that you need. The 80% is root crops, which is the land crops section down at the bottom there. The number in brackets refers to the effectiveness of the respective foods. So each one of those uh, will get you up the health and their production you know, up to that point there. 
You want them to be at 100% so they're, you know, fattening up at the quickest rate possible. And that's, again, all they're doing here is just you're using them to fatten up and sell off later. And then now, lastly, up here, 57. You know what? Did I read out the price here? Uh, for the pig uh, pasture, it's 688000 For the cow pasture, this is the cow pasture, right? Yes. 57 $830,080. And now... We got all these and you got little heifers and you got full blowns the the big adults here now you can see the prices for the fees on these ones are not as high like i'm actually shocked on the delivery fees here uh but thousand cows here oh you know what that just occurred to me i didn't uh look up sizes of you know what? yeah let's go back to the sheep and see what the final results were so you can have a thousand sheep here Let's go back to pigs. Now I have to try and find this trigger all over again. Where is it? That's the water. So let's find the water. All right, there's the water. There it is. All these bushes and stuff do a really good job at hiding that trigger, and it doesn't bring you in where the trigger's spawn is. There we go. Thousand pigs and a thousand. So each one of these holds one thousand animals. Now, did I buy them? No, I did not. So let's buy these and then similar to the sheep you'll see same thing cattle in this pasture are destined for their reproduction so again same exact thing grass and straw that's it that's it that's all you got to worry about with these ones but that yeah i think that is it oh no wait i wanted to go over one more thing animals so i mentioned how important it was for the reading the description there at the bottom right just to decide which one's which now i'm going to install a cow pasture here and then a dairy pasture just so we can there we go whoa apparently i was standing right on top of it so the dairy pasture the second one we put in you can see actually has the dairy the output here, your animals will go in here. Your feed is where you're normally used to it. All of them have an integrated manure heap built into them. There you go. There's your feed input and your slurry output right there. And then same thing here, but no milk. Animals go in, all the everything else is the same except the milk. The milk's taken out, and all you have here is your breeding cows. And if we go here, and we go to the cow barn down here at the bottom, you'll see now, look at that, the mix for feed is completely different. Than the other one was now you have crushed cereals shredded proteins hay and grass or i'm sorry hay from grass or silage and then the compound feed will satisfy the grain and the protein so you'll that compound will satisfy 50 percent hay is the other 50 percent uh total mix ration will satisfy the grain protein and hay so you can use tmr to get all of this swept up in one kind of like what we're used to now, is the feed any different for these cows as compared to the other cows? That's something I'm... Oh, you know what? Yeah, I gotta add. Okay. So this is the cow barn here. And no. So the cows are all the, all the same if you install the pens and pastures. Uh, let's see. You can see here the feeding for horses is different, so that's going to tell you different recipes and whatnot. You got your pigs are different as well. 
uh, sheep. So these sheep are going to be wildly different from the pasture ones that are already pre-installed in the map, just like the cows are. So again, pay attention to what you're looking at when you install the fields and when you use these pastures. They're all going to be different and they're all going to take different kinds of products. But I think that covers everything that I wanted to cover. Let me just double check the map real quick. So where I left off, we were just finishing this kind of southern sweep and we saw all the various greenhouses. We then came out to the main farm out to here, backtracked to the road, came all the way down here where we saw the compound feed factory as well as the compound feed factory for sale. We then came out, saw the gas station. We came out to see the lumber plant and the two BGAs. Now, then we teleported to the sheep, the pigs, and then the cows, and then that's when we kind of got into the weeds on the animals and stuff there. And I believe, I believe that's it. Let's just see something real quick. Oh, I'm glad I did that. That is something that I didn't know was here. So this is the resin pines. You you have herbicide and you get resin out of it. So, hmm, that's, uh, yeah, really glad I did that. Now, where's the input? Because that's the output. Looks like that's right there. But I don't see where an input is. Huh. You know what? Now that makes me really curious around other places on the map. Oh. Oh. I missed all that too. Wow. Well, let's run over there real quick. Um, no. Okay. So here we have a well, get water. And then here we have the Averia Mill where we can make various types of flour and there's the soybean flour. So put your soybeans in, get flour out, and we're kind of used to seeing most of these, maybe not the rye and the, uh, and the corn. Corn's kind of a hit or miss on certain maps. And it looks like you got your inputs here. And where is the outputs? Oh, right here, outputs right there. Now let's take a look at the map again because now I'm really kind of self-conscious. Oh, yeah, here's more up here that I missed. Well, let's check this out. Uh, here we go. So the stony pines will make pine, uh, pinions. Pine, pinions? Hmm, never heard of that. And you need to put in manure and you get the pinions out. So you got these here. But where... Huh. Now I'm not quite sure. Wait a minute. Huh. So yeah, it doesn't show me a output or an input area. It just has the triggers here. So maybe this is broken. I'm not certain. All right, let's go back to the map one more time because there's kind of all these areas that are just slotted around. I just want to make sure I'm getting them all. How about this here? Nope, nothing there. All right, I think... I think we're good. Whew. So yeah, we uh, were here. We then bounced over up to the northwest here and took in the uh, resin pines as well as the well, the mill there, and then the stone pines as well. And I think that's everything. Oh man, this map. There's something special about this map, but... It's possibly needing updates as well. So now we're to the point of the tour of rendering my opinion. What do I think of this map? Zero to five scale as usual. 
Um, so I'm kind of mixed on this one. There's a lot, a lot of things I absolutely adore about this map. The custom products, the, um, the attention to detail that's around the map, just all laid out throughout the map. And even the kind of town area is incredibly unique. Um, you've got some very beautiful sight lines. You've got rising smoke in certain places that just makes it kind of feel lived in. Like I said, there's just a lot of things going around that's really kind of nice and really kind of cool. So this kind of industrial area here in the north is, you know, kind of spread out a little bit more. There's a little bit of tightness in the yards, but that's kind of the negative part about this is that the yards are incredibly tight the city this little town here is ridiculously tight and if you get traffic that works out like this to where they're starting to block each other off then it's going to be impossible to navigate around and to find where you have to go to be able to get to these cell points the cell points are ridiculously small and the road network is so difficult to traverse because all you have are these signs and as long as you're not seeing the red arrows then you can't go so i can't go through here this is a one way this direction but i can go this way and i oh there's a car there and i can go this way so you like if you're trying to be real and follow the road networks good luck good luck it's um i mean i know there's towns you know that are like this in uh in europe and and whatnot it, it's definitely a real thing but Whew, this is definitely a little overwhelming for me. Like, this feels way too cramped for me. Um, so, no. Overall, what would I give this? I'd give this a solid 4. Now, the reason I'm only giving it a 4 and not giving it a higher grade is simply because there's so many aspects about this map that I don't know are broken or not. Um, the $1 production points. I don't know if that's a thing that's meant to be there or if it's actually broken. It's not meant to have that small of value. There's the field here, field 51, that's $0. I think that's broken and needs to be updated. The map itself is really, really hard to traverse with the exception of the main highway. Anything that is not the main highway, it is almost impossible to find where you're going. Um not being able to purchase the entirety of the map also is kind of a bummer because you have so many areas that you have to um build out you have all the different vineyards you know you system that they use because you got the apple trees the lemon trees so on and so forth now i think that might be maybe the reason why all of these are kind of purchasable and they're empty fields kind of thing so if we go let's go south just a little bit here i think that's the whole reason why they are the way they are um is because they anticipate you using these not for actual fields for crops but rather using them for the vineyards and things like that. That's kind of what I'm guessing. And again, without knowing all those kind of things that are going on. So you can see this is one of the unnumbered fields. It's owned, it's fertilized, all this stuff. But nothing will grow here it'll always it well it should always stay in this state of plowed kind of uh field state it shouldn't change because it's not a number field because it's not a number field it's not getting the kind of update commands necessary to be able to grow and do anything so it's just going to lie dormant i think that's what these are kind of meant to be are the fields to where eventually you're going to have your apples and oranges and cherries and all that stuff and you know what let's go ahead i'm just curious now we are on 21 uh productions orchards there we go let's make some apple trees oh it can't be planted in august okay what about oranges those can't be planted in august what about when can we plant? Oh, well, not for a long time. So, yeah, so it, at least we can kind of see what they look like and how they're going to work. So, that's, uh, yeah. 
a four is how I would grade it not knowing all the potential issues out there. If they are issues, then I'd have to give it a one until those issues are fixed. But this is a very strong map. You know, for those people who like that kind of small, condensed European style map, like this is definitely the kind of map to go with. Um, yeah, it, it, this is this is a very good job, a very good job in my opinion. Um, now, not necessarily a map that I would personally play because of how tight it is. I'd f feel really claustrophobic and not be able to kind of, you know, I'd run into everything and and especially because of the traffic splines and stuff seeing how they kind of get hung up every once in a while uh on their own accord might not be the best thing so that might need to be adjusted and just a couple of things here and there but this is a very good start very good start but all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.